G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan, which is an awesome acoustic track. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on the guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. For the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you will need a capo on the seventh fret of your guitar. Let's jump into the lesson. All right, so let's start with the basics. Now, when we break down this song, it can actually be very, very simple. So I'll start by teaching you the two strumming patterns that you need to know, and the whole song is just comprised of those strumming patterns. So the first one is the long strumming pattern. Now let's use a G chord as an example. Now this long strumming pattern is just gonna go down, 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 up, down. Now one thing that will really make this strumming pattern shine is if you actually just focus on the top bass note. So the first down strum, the strumming pattern, just focus on that bass note. So it'll sound like this. Now the second shorter strumming pattern will just be a down, down, up. Now again, if you really want to make this shine for that first down strum, just focus on the bass note. So the shorter strumming pattern sounds like this. Okay, so let's start with the intro and there's two G's and each time you see one chord within a set of brackets, that just means that it's gonna be played for a long strumming pattern. So it will sound like this. Now we get to verse part one. Now verse part one has two lines of chords. We're gonna start with our G for one long strumming pattern. Then we go to a C chord. So a C for a short strumming pattern. And then we'll go to C slash B. So keep your index finger where it is move your middle finger up one string to the second fret of the fifth string. And that's our C slash B. Now that's played for a short strumming pattern. So anywhere where you see two chords sharing a set of brackets, that means both those chords are played for a short strumming pattern. So that C to C slash B. Then we go to a D slash A. So it's the same as a D chord, except our bass note here will be the open fifth string. We're gonna play this for a full strumming pattern and then back to a G for a full strumming pattern. So the first line of chords. And then for our second line of chords is almost identical, except we're just going to replace that D slash A with a G. So it's two G's in a row. So the second line of chords. And in total, verse part one. Now verse part two is almost identical to verse part one. The only difference is the last two G's are replaced by two D slash A's. So verse part two sounds like this. Now in the song, the structure will go like this. Verse part one, verse part two, and then you'll return to verse part one and then we get to the chorus. Now, if you want clarification on that, then just head to the playthrough at the end of this lesson, but this is going to be typical throughout the song. So verse part one, verse part two, back to verse part one, and then the chorus. So our chorus has three lines of tab here. We're going to start with our C to C slash B. Now again, they're two chords within one set of brackets, so they're both short patterns. Then we go to D slash A and D slash F sharp. So keep your ring finger where it is, move your index up to the second fret and your middle finger up to the second fret of the sixth and third strings. So our bass note here is that F sharp there. So that first line of chords. And then for the second line of chords, we go to a G for one long strumming pattern. 
then C add nine. So that's just moving your index and middle finger down one string. So C add nine and G. So they're both within that set of brackets. So one short pattern for each of these. And for our third line of chords, it's almost identical to the first line of chords, except we're going to add a G on the end of it. And that's a long strumming pattern. So the third line of chords. And in total for the chorus. Now we have the post chorus, which is where the harmonica comes in, and it's identical to the chorus, except there's an extra G chord with the long strumming pattern at the end. That's the only thing that's different. And those are all the parts you need to learn. So again, the typical structure is gonna go like this. Verse part one, verse part two, verse part one, chorus, and then pre-chorus. And we just keep repeating that throughout the whole song. Now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song. I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his vocals. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.